Hey beauties, me and my husband are on our way right now. We're going to be interviewed for the puppy. So, guys, he's nervous because he was just breathing heavy. He was like, <sighs> you know, when you're nervous, you breathe heavy. <laughs> so, he called his friend. He was like, we're almost at the interview. So, anyway, he's not. I can tell that he's nervous, even though he doesn't want to say. But guys, we're um, we're in Massachusetts, so we're it's really country here, and we've just passed um, Springfield, Massachusetts. Oh my God, it was such a pretty town. I mean, I only saw it from the highway, but it was so pretty, you guys. It was so old, like all the old little buildings and stuff like that. I hope we can go back there. But anyway, guys, we're on our way now to the farm. So I don't know what we're gonna see, guys. I put on this little. This is my little farm-inspired outfit. I was gonna wear cowboy boots, and my husband was like, "No, this is not that kind of farm." But you know, every farm you can wear cowboy boots, don't you think? And hopefully I could vlog when I get there. I figured I would just hop on today with a little puppy, new puppy vlog, and share our journey to trying to get a new puppy. <laughs> I was like, because I know today we're probably not gonna come home with the puppy, but I figured I would share our puppy journey. We'll be there in about like 10 minutes now, guys. So hopefully I can vlog when I get there. But if I can't, I'll just pop back in when we're done and let you guys know how it went. Guys, we're here at Starward Farm at Echo Hollow. I don't know if you can see, but there's a Weimarer in the picture. It's so cute. Yay! So guys, we just got here, and my husband, we don't know what to do though. Like we, the, we wrote them, and it was such a strange email exchange because my, they were like, come on Saturday, and then my husband was like, can we come in the afternoon? And then they were like, yeah, and then he said, well, can we come at 2.30? And they never wrote back. So <laughs> my husband's like, maybe? They don't even, you know, aren't they're not expecting us or we don't know. But I just see the white marauders guys, they have them like herded up like little horses. Do you hear them? They're barking. They have like a little corral and the all the white marauders are behind the corral. I've never had a big dog, you guys, so I've always had just little tiny chihuahuas. Except my Lhasa Apso April. She was Lhasa Apso, so she, but she was a small Lhasa Apso and she was 12 pounds. And she was, she was a lot of work for me because she was really, she was wild. I'm only used to chihuahuas. They like to sleep. They like to cuddle. They like to eat. That's what, that's what I'm all about. Sleeping, cuddling, eating. Uh, warm blankets. <laughs> These dogs are going to want to play. This one runner is going to want to do stuff. I already told my husband, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do because, uh, this dog, they have a lot of energy, so, and I really don't have a lot of energy, but I'm trying to change you guys. I'm, I'm planning to turn over a new leaf, and I've already exercised two days in a row, <laughs> but when we move to our new house, I'm planning to, like, go run around, um, you know, outside and get fresh air. <laughs> well, they have a track. There's a school nearby, so I was like, maybe I'll go run around the track, um, you know. Oh, my husband's coming back, guys. I'll let you know what's happening. Look at the little tiny ones. Look at the little baby. Oh, hi, little baby. Oh, How'd you know she's the one? Because I can tell in eight weeks. And no more? Huh? Oh, you can tell? Eight weeks. I, I hold them all up. I do some test on them. Uh huh. Them. Uh huh. See how the tail hangs. Uh, see how the tail hangs. There's a way to try it. Uh, uh, there's a way to try it. Uh, no walking? Is it your puppy? Oh. oh. It's very hard to find it. Right. Oh. Most to the front, if you draw a line, you can find the point of shoulder. It has so one puppy. I look Hi, puppy. I
is oh my god we just got home and guys we were approved i can't believe it we have been so nervous for i don't even know how long ever since my husband found the breeder which was like two weeks ago i guess we have been like we have been so nervous we've been like you know kind of even rehearsing you know what what he would even ask us we're like what is we who we've never been interviewed or you know what are they gonna you know we were just like what are they gonna say um so we were, you know, we were really scared, you guys. And let me tell you, when we got there, somebody was leaving that had just been interviewed and he denied them. So we were like, oh my God, and he told us. And you could see when they came out, they looked really, you know, they looked on, they looked upset. We were like, oh my God, he's going to deny us. We were just like, we were totally prepared for it after that. After we saw what had, how this other family had left and they got, they didn't get approved. So we were like, no way, he's not going <laughs> to, he's not going to approve us. But, um thank god he did so you know i don't know if you guys have ever been interviewed i've i don't know but he he really didn't i don't know he asked us like about our work and i guess he wanted to make sure that we were going to be able to spend enough time with the puppy with the dog because they need a lot of attention they're oh my god you guys though i had no idea that weimaraners were so affectionate all they wanted to do was cuddle at the moment we got there and we were there like over two hours i think they just came into my lap i had two of them on my lap they just cuddled up into me they were just cuddling and just all they wanted was for me to pet them and i just i loved that's all i want to do because that's even though i was afraid to get a big dog because but you know i figured i would take care of it and you know of course i would love it but in my heart i thought you know i'm not a big dog person because i'm not very um you know athletic i'm not very energetic um but and my husband is though but i'm not i like to sleep i like to cuddle that's why i always love chihuahuas because you know they're very you know they love to sleep they love to cuddle <laughs> like i was like they like to eat snacks that's what i'm all about so i was just like you know i thought big dogs are you know rough or they like to play rough or they like they have a lot of energy no these dogs were so sweet and the breeder told us he said they that's what they live for human touch and affection and that's all they want is to like be affection you know be hugged and kissed and that's they were so good they were all so quiet he had like i don't even know how many dogs there there were so many dogs there because one litter was like seven and he had two litters but they were different ages he has like an over a year waiting list so there was ones that were just born four weeks ago and then there were ones that were born like 12 weeks ago and they're getting ready to go off to their family so they were bigger and then there was there was six actually there was six i'm not sure but they were different they were staggered ages so um the wait is like a, a year you guys and by me and my husband were like please can we have one sooner and he was like no i'm sorry so guys i might not be back for a year <laughs> to report on the puppy getting my puppy vlog to, to finish this vlog up might take me a year but then again my husband was like please you know we would love to have one sooner so you know he my husband kept asking <laughs> and even me and my husband were like we better stop asking he was getting he was getting kind of because my husband was like please isn't there something no he wasn't banging like that but you know i i kind of was i was like oh we'll take you know if anybody doesn't want one, you know, give us a call if something happens, maybe sooner than a year. But there was one, there was two little ones I had in my lap and one was the runt of the litter and she came running out at me. She was all, she was tripping over her little feet and she came running out and I just scooped her up and she went right on my lap and she was just holding on to me and, um... I could not let her go when God broke my heart to have to give her back. And he, the, the breeder said he has to feed her separate from the other puppies because she, they, they don't like, maybe they don't let her eat, you know, because she's so small. And so he has to feed her separate. And I was like, oh my God, that's just what I want. I want to take care of her. So I was like, maybe somebody, I hate to say it, but you know, a lot of people want the bigger dogs or the, I said, maybe somebody won't want her. And they'll, and they'll call and they'll let me be her mom because I would love to be her mom. She was so sweet. She was the sweetest little angel. And she just, she was so tiny. She was so much tinier than the others because she was the runt. <laughs> but I would love to have her. I, um, 
sweet. It was, guys, you don't know how sweet they were. Two hours just cuddling and cuddling and cuddling. Not even moving. Just cuddling and kissing. Oh my god, so loving. I never knew these dogs were so loving. Never in my wildest dreams. I don't even think my chihuahuas would be that calm. They would even get up and wanna. <laughs> but they all were because my husband was holding a few and they just were cuddling and affectionate. None of them were, were wild or... Um, they definitely had a temperament, a beautiful temperament. They were all quiet and good and sweet and just wanted to cuddle and they were cuddling, cuddling each other. So it was like, I would tell the breeder, I said, I would just come here. I'm just thankful that he let me come for the day because it was the best time ever. <laughs> Like, I would have paid him just to go, like, you know how you go to a zoo? Like, I would have paid him just to go hang out at his house with the puppies. He could have charged me admission fee just to play with them and hold them. But he said he likes them to, to get used to being with people and held, you know. So, let me see what else he has to say. He didn't really ask us a lot more just about our... Like we were there for like two... He, he was interviewing us for two hours at least. So, and he... He told us how he had to turn down a lot of people. He had over 5,000 applicants. We were like, oh my God. <sighs> so thank God, guys, we got approved though. I'm so, I'm still, I'm a little scary. I'm the type of person I'll still be worried. Cause then I'm like, I hope nothing goes wrong. I hope he doesn't take, you know, for some reason, think about something I might've said wrong and like take it, you know, cancel us. <laughs> but hopefully that won't happen. But, um, anyway guys, I thought I would just update you with our puppy vlog for the day. Hopefully we'll get to take some, one of those puppies home. I could have taken them both home. If I could, I would take them. I wouldn't mind having four dogs. They, I just could have took them home. They were just so loving and so sweet. But, anyway, <laughs> we don't have, we don't have that much room, right? You're like, girl, you don't have that much room. Plus, we still have to travel for work and stuff. So, we need to be able to fit them all in the car. <laughs> But anyway guys, I thought I would just update you. I'm so glad you guys, um, I got to take you guys along with me. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. A day in my life vlog. So I love you guys so much. I hope you're all doing good and I'll see you soon. Bye, love you.